have 15 grand in your back pocket right now? Probably not. Maybe you're like me. I don't even know if I can afford to get gravy when I order fries anymore. But I do know somebody that's got 15 grand in his arse pocket right now. And he likes to go by the name of Sean Monahan. Boom. He's played 26 games in a row right now without an injury. Can you believe it? Meaning, of course, that he finally gets his pay from the Canadians, which pretty much bumps his salary up to 2 million bucks. Now, you gotta admit, if Sean Monaghan continues to play the way that he's been playing, and if he's not in a scrap metal pile when the trade deadline rolls around, Kent Hughes is gonna be wearing a smile like the Grinch. Can you imagine how valuable Sean Monaghan is gonna be? Let's take a look at some history. Tyler Bertuzzi was traded for a first round pick when he only had 14 points. Look at this one. Tampa Bay pretty much gave up everyone to get Tanner Janot. David Savard was traded for a first. Ben Sherratt, the list goes on and on, and I'm 100% convinced that a reliable centerman like Sean Monaghan, who's got a low cap hit and an excellent face-off percentage, can bring back a bare minimum of at least a first-round pick. Teams tend to get a little crazy at the trade deadline, guys. It happens. Now, according to a community poll that I recently made, 61% of you guys are in favor of trading Monaghan and 39% don't want to move him. You want to keep him. And you know what? I respect that. Okay, Sean Monaghan seems like a really likable character. He's definitely a good leader to have on the team. He's productive, putting up eight points and seven assists so far this season, 15 points in 26 games. And guess what else? Guess what I noticed yesterday? Remember how everyone wanted Pierre-Luc Dubois since, well, forever? Well, Kazakhstan's right now, Mr. Sean Monaghan's got four more points than Scooby Dubois right now, and he's making like six and a half million less. That is some crazy ass shit. But anyway, here's how I see it. Given the current state of the team, I feel like you just can't pass up on the opportunity to move him. I mean, how can you not listen when teams are obviously going to be desperate? And of course, imagine if the Canadians don't trade him at the deadline and he goes on to fall apart like the old Elaine Skidoo once again, huh? Isn't that going to look dumb? Or how about if he does stay healthy and July rolls around and he decides to test the old UFA market and walks away to a different team? See what I'm getting at here? That sounds like a lot of risk. So here's what we got. TSN released their trade bait board yesterday, and Sean Monaghan was number nine on the list. But I gotta say, when you look at the cap hits of some of the players on this list and their production, no matter how you slice and dice it, Sean Monaghan, if healthy, is gonna be one of the nicest pieces on this entire board hitting up to the trade deadline. I love it. Now, Jake Allen, Caden Primo, and even Mike Matheson are also on the board, but we'll save that conversation for a new day. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Tell me, would you trade Sean Monaghan and tell me why? Also, if you're in favor of keeping him, you can make an argument against it. Don't forget to obliterate the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.